Good morning, church. Good morning, priest. Joy to welcome all of you here this morning. Thank God for your presence and pray for God's continued blessings upon each and every one of you. I want to welcome those who are visiting with us this morning. And in typical St. George's fashion, we ask, simply stand and say who you are so that we can warmly welcome you. All right? And so, do you mind introducing yourself? I'm uh, Logan Plasman. I go out and minister the word to people and hand out gospel tracts. That's basically what I do. Awesome. Well, welcome, Logan. <laughs> we have two visitors uh, from the Diocese of Pennsylvania uh, here with us this morning. My name is Sarah. All right, let's welcome. May God bless you. We pray that you are strengthened through your worship with us and spiritually edified. I want to extend birthday greetings to those celebrating birthdays this week. Uh, Keenan, you're going to get a double dose, right? Yeah, you weren't supposed to be here, but you're here. And Tyler, going on to what? Fifth, oh my gosh. Fifty, right? Remember those days you were running around your house in pajamas, opening your Christmas gift on Christmas Eve? Now you're 15 years old. I can't believe it. <laughs> and Kaylee, how old are you going to be, Kaylee? Eleven. All right. Yes, I know. It's creeping up into the screen ages. Yes. Right. Yes. So we're going to sing happy birthday um, and we're going to rely on Debbie to give us a good key. Right, Debbie? Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> May God bless each and every one of you. Anyone celebrating anniversaries this week? No. Okay, so I want to thank Hannah for her uh, instrumental and who has agreed to offer that um, over the next two weeks, at least today and next week. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, give her a round of applause, please. Do you, have a, do you have another piece that you can play? All right, so during communion, before we actually sing, please feel free to offer it up, okay? The offer, we'll, we'll sing a hymn, and then we'll just play that. Okay? Um, Vestry Vitality Day. Vestry Vitality Day. It's not just for Vestry members. It's for leaders of the church. We're looking for people to sign up. It is diocesan-wide. And guess what? St. George's has been signed up as a hot spot. So other people from the churches throughout the diocese will also come to us. Now, we can't let them come to us and only the priest and the vestry members are here, right? That would not give us a good name. And so please sign up. An email was sent to us. This is talking about congregational vitality. It is talking about gifts in the church and how we can move forward as a church as well as the diocese. So please, uh, here, if you are able to, we look forward to your presence. The annual general meeting in a couple weeks, January 28th. All reports are due today, right? And I was told that if your report is not in, please see Principal Robin. All right, and so all your reports are due today so that we could uh, uh, put the book together and, of course, send it out for the congregation to read. We are in need of one more vestry member. Please, uh, if anyone is looking to serve in a new way, right, so that you don't leave me to volunteer you um, for vestry, um, I look forward to your presence and your offering. And finally, our stewardship update. We know that for pledges, we have a certain pledge goal that we want and we're still shy and we have often and we've been given a grant challenge. Right now we have $11,300 given to Warden, right? And so we need another 18700 to uh, reach our goal. The grant challenge goes through to March, and whatever is given, 
That's how much will be matched. What's not given will be retracted. And so let's not miss out on this opportunity for $30,000 injected into our budget. And so for those who have given toward that, I greatly appreciate it. And for those who haven't, may God move your heart and your pocket. All right. Um, I see the save the date for our sixth annual bingo is never too early. April 27th. You would have received our calendar for the year. Please mark those dates. For Shrove Tuesday, believe it or not, Lent will begin in a matter of four weeks. Right? Four weeks. And so for Shrove Tuesday, we have our pancake supper. And we are inviting people who are normally come to the food pantries, NISAP, etc., to join us that evening. Right? And so we would need individuals to help serve. And then during Lent, uh, we are going to offer for our Lenten program every Wednesday for an hour, hour and a half. Mental health professionals will be coming in and speaking to us on parenting, marriage and relationships, addictions, depression and anxiety, and then a general overview of how to cope with stress and mental health challenges. Our own Dan Young will kick it off for us. Dan there, wonderful therapist. Um, if you have anyone, um, you can refer to Dan, um, but Dan will join us. And then finally today, after the service, having met with the choir last week, um, with all of our children, we can gather into the uh, Sunday school room. And Dan and I would sit with you and uh, we will be with you as we process the loss of our beloved Ralph Martin. I um, leave and try to, at least over the next several weeks, share one you know, delightful story I have about Ralph. And so Ralph was a person of time. If the service started at nine, Ralph is here at eight, right? And so sometimes when we would meet, in our monthly meetings, Ralph would say, and say, oh my gosh, sometimes Ralph, you know, I don't want to shave and all of that. And Ralph has a way of letting you know um, what he wants to be heard in a very diplomatic way, right? And sometimes I might show up on um, Caribbean time as opposed to Ralph's time. <laughs> and Ralph would say, you know, that's why I prepare everything the night before so that I don't have to worry about anything in the morning. I said, did Ralph just throw shade at me? <laughs> Telling me to show up on time? But that was Ralph, right? He would let himself be known. And of course, we continue to miss him and honor him and pray that he will rest in peace and rise in glory. With that said, may you all have a wonderful week. Let us continue to walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God.